Okay, so to begin the process of photo-to-photo -photo identification and photo-to-photo -photo comparison, we're going to take a look at the existing authenticated photographs of Josephine Earp, all of which in older age, um, maybe from age 50 um, until age, how old you, was the machine? The last one, she's probably in her late 70s, and, and that's incredibly important because there's such controversy over the early photographs. Whereas there's no controversy over the later ones. Those are authenticated. So they're the best baseline we have. Right. And so we're going to use these older photographs for actual comparison with the, the purported younger photographs. Um, uh, here's a picture for what year would you uh, how old would you say she is in this picture? Um, she's probably, oh, maybe 70 or so in this, in this picture. And it was her first return to Tombstone, um, really since 1881, since the gunfight at the OK Corral. Well, interesting. Um, one thing we can see from this image is actually how short a woman she is, or was. Um, uh, the two women uh, dwarf her, and she, she is wearing a hat here. Um, but her build and her height is, are something that we're going to see consistency in some of the uh, photographs of her when she was younger. Um, a stocky build, a pronounced jaw. Um, and shorten in height. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about this photograph? Well, so she's a little younger here, you know, she's maybe, uh, I don't know, in her 50s or so. Um, and you can see, you're going to see her weight vary quite a bit. Um, she got quite portly over time. And, um, you know, she's wearing a shapeless house dress here, and yet you could probably guess that she was a buxom woman. Um, and that certainly didn't change. Right. I put an arrow here to indicate a pattern that we're going to see in a lot of the, both the authenticated photos and the, and the photos that we're going to analyze of her as a younger woman, is that she has a hairline, which is a hairstyle and a hairline which is very distinct, um, swept back on either side, covering the top portion of the ear, and she has a little sort of one corner of her hairline tends, spikes up, where it's like a half of a widow's peak. Um, that we see consistently in both her authenticated photos and in some of the photos that we're going to analyze. Here it is again. Right. Maybe this is the... Uh, I think she's at her heaviest in this photograph. See, that's a, a woman's perspective. Um, but here she is with Wyatt Earp in their desert camp um, in what is now Earp, California, which is near Parker, Arizona. And, um, and he's feeding his dog here, and um, she was quite comfortable camping out for many, many years. Um, this is her, this is an image of Josephine when she was at her oldest. This is we, the oldest, okay. this is the oldest one that, that we have. Um, and, um, and you can see, to me, she's really lost a tremendous amount of weight at, at this point. Mm -hmm. um, this is actually from the Los Angeles Times. This is a, um, an image of uh, where she's, uh, she's, being, she's giving an award to Lincoln Ellsworth, the, um, the famous explorer, um, commemorating his return from Antarctica in the ship, the, the Wyatt Earp. Mm. Um, so this one was actually in the LA Times, um, quite grainy, and you can see that her favorite kind of hat. Again, the hairline is, the hair is swept back, covering the top portion of the ear. We see the, the sort of little peak of at her hairline at this point here, which I wanted to point out. Uh, the fact that she actually lost a little weight in this picture is actually going to pr prove very important because we can use her at this weight, to, which will help us compare when she was at a similar weight when she was younger. So. You know, what I find interesting also is one of my daughters always is photographed with her head at an angle. You know, every time you look at a picture of her, she's got her head at an angle. Josephine seemed to like that as well. I, this is what I was discussing with consistency of expression. We tend to pose the same way in photographs, and if you look, if you think about the, all the photographs you've taken, there there are patterns that you have in the way you smile and the way you present yourself in photographs. She was no different, and she always seemed to have this little wry smile that we're going to get into, and, and this is part of like her personality, big personality, sort of coming through um, in these photographs. Always this little wry smile, just like that. Mona Lisa smile, something something underneath. Okay, we we discussed. Um, uh, this is a this is uh, really a wonderful uh, image that actually we found late in this process that proved very invaluable in helping us compare some of the earlier photographs. 
her nose dropped a little bit. Um, this is Josephine's sister. I thought it would be interesting to sort of look at the family traits, facial shapes, and to see some consistency between the sister, the two sisters. And they both have a little bit of a lazy right eye. Uh, the, she actually also had this sort of part and the hairline spike in the same area. Uh, wide based nose, which was similar of the two. Um, <clears throat> a fairly narrow mouth. Um, and a, a, as they age, the, and with the similar weight, the, the jowls sort of began to sag and drop a little bit in the face. So uh, I just thought it would be interesting to look at the sister and to see if that, you know, to sort of enforce some of these consistencies in the way they're family's faces are shaped. And those are both authenticated photographs of Henrietta. That's actually from her obituary. Uh, one of the things we're going to see as we look, try and identify some of these younger photos is this very pronounced strong chin. Okay, it's a very long and strong chin and jaw. Um, um, an oval shaped face and an expression which is consistent, again, this sort of wry little smile that she has uh, with her mouth closed, never teeth. Um, and so uh, um, swept back here, covering half of the ear um, and the little spike at the top. We couldn't really see much from this uh, image except for uh, her hair is, is a little bit sort of triangular in shape here. What, what year would you say this photo was? I, you know, it's hard to say because you can't really see her face so well, but, you know, she's probably 50-ish or so. The, the other thing is she's always, she always sets herself up in, again, this sort of angular way, and when we look at some of the younger photographs, that's going to be of interest. Mm -hmm. And you can see, actually, how busty she is here. But, you know, you can make out how strong that jaw is. You know, that's one of the things, you know, a prominent, a prominent chin with length. Uh, standing on a porch... Um, we're starting to see the consistencies in the hairstyle, in the spike, the, sh the, sh the length of the chin, um, uh, the bulbous base of the nose with a convex shape of the nose. And again, that shapeless dress. <laughs> yeah, stocky, stocky build, short, short height.